I'm trying to be consistent as much as I can and uh, uh, I had like my knee uh, issue and uh, my knee injury so I'm trying to figure out how to train how to uh, manage my training and my body and uh, definitely like the world championships is always my favorite event and the event I always wait like this couple of months were very tough for me and and I wasn't used to play a lot of tournaments after each other and my body wasn't wasn't in the best shape and I'm happy with the way I'm playing and my performance this year it's uh, yeah winning like four titles uh, out of six I think or seven it's uh, it's huge and big for me. I, I didn't did this for for a long time now, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm trying to be consistent as much as I can, and uh, I'm working hard to to keep the same performance and the same way I'm playing. So. And of course, when we look back at the early stages of the year, you know the the pandemic was still in kind of full swing. Um, in the first few months, it was until it wasn't until March that we had the flat wall open our first event of the year. When you kind of look back on that time, was it was it difficult being away from competition, or was it nice to you know spend spend some time with the family, the dogs, and, and the parents? Well, I think at the beginning it was nice. I think we needed some break time, some time off, uh, exploring different things, uh, the like trying to find something to do in uh, in a you had in like a lot of time free time trying to find something new something different uh, I think it was nice in the beginning but uh, like after that like okay what's happening now you need to get back to your life to your routine uh, practice and traveling so uh, but I think having uh, some time off helped me a lot to uh, to 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 get back and, and try to think how to improve and how to train while having like I, I had some uh, I had like my knee uh, issue and uh, my knee injury, so I'm trying to figure out how to train, how to uh, manage my training and my body. And uh, uh, I think it was a bit like many players were struggling coming back after taking all this time off. But uh, I think step by step, uh, I came back uh, playing to playing good, playing. Uh, Good squash, training good, and uh, and like I kept improving every tournament. So. And you wasted no time getting up to such a good start. So you won the battle, you won the hero, you first two events back. How important was it to get off to such a strong start? Yeah, I would try to to start strong and then like try to figure out in the middle what's going to happen, but just to have a strong strong start. Uh, it it gave me a lot of confidence to be starting strong so and i usually i'm a bit slower starter so i always try to get get out the best in the beginning so to to keep getting up going step by step uh, so uh, yeah and i think um, i think starting uh, strong helps me a lot to to keep the momentum going and a few months later of course another World Championship final uh, in Chicago, which won the fifth World Championship title. What are your kind of memories from that week and that match? Well, uh, it's uh, definitely like the World Championship is always my favorite event and the event I always wait. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I when I started training again, I, it was my goal to train and pick on this week and, uh, and I was setting the goal in this tournament to try and it was different because I never played a tournament in July actually and um, I wasn't sure that I was I'm gonna keep the same form I would started with until this time uh, but uh, I just tried to set a goal tried to set a good schedule and training uh, but uh, yeah it, it was one of the best weeks in my life it's uh, it's, it was huge for me and it was very important this tournament and uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's one of my highlights of this year. You mentioned you've never played in July before. Yeah. What does that, obviously normally you're kind of on holiday around that time, what does that do to your training uh, schedule and regime? Well, I, 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 I try to take some time off usually after any tournament or any whatever season, like some time off, long time. 
uh, and I don't. I always try to get away from training, from practice, from the club, from squash. I don't get involved in any kind of thing related to squash. So uh, yeah, and this this break helped me a lot to come back and uh, try to think uh, what I want to do and what uh, what what I'm gonna plan for the next phase. So um, so usually. Uh, I think some long time off. It's it's a bit long, but yeah, it helps me a lot. And you know, in Egypt we have many things to do, many people around, many places. So uh, so yeah, spending some time with friends and family, uh, it's uh, it's it keeps me motivated to come back and want to train and travel. You go from the World Championship final in July to which is the biggest event, to arguably the second biggest event to win yep. the Open the following month. <coughs> when we were back to that final, you, know, you had shrapnel on your leg, you had mm. a calf injury, and I remember you just kind of falling to the floor after you after the match ball. Was that was that relief, or was it was it if you literally just expended all your energy on that match? No, definitely it's a relief. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, like this couple of months were very tough for me, and and I wasn't used to play a lot of tournaments after each other, and my body wasn't wasn't in the best shape and I was struggling a lot and because I have my knee injury so I always try to balance my ba- my body and know when to put the the my energy and my my like put all the power I have so when I have something else it's hard to balance my body so I always try to be be feeling good nothing's nothing is hurting nothing is in pain everything is in place so uh, so yeah playing these two tournaments after each other was was a bit tough and then we had the situation that we're in, we weren't in we can't travel direct from Egypt so we went I went to Lebanon for 10 days and it was a bit difficult there because squash is not very popular there but we had like a squash court and we had like a, a a gym and we had a lot of things to do there so so it was a bit different to I'm a bit a systematic and I like to have a a, a system and a routine that I that I always follow so so 10 days before before a big tournament uh, getting out of your comfort zone and going some some places some place different you don't nothing there it was a bit different you don't know if your training was going to be good if it's this the thing you want to be doing or supposed to be doing before a tournament or not but um, but yeah it was uh, it was a challenge and I think uh, yeah, I I just wanted. To, I think I was just wanted to. The injury wasn't. It was getting worse after every match because you've been training and you've been playing matches, and I don't know how bad is it or how bad if it's I can keep playing or not. But like the physio there said, no, it's it's okay. You have to treat it, but you have to take care. So uh, I think so. I it it was very. It was a relief after winning this British Open because it's it's one of the biggest tournaments and the oldest one and I I always want to play the British Open. I have a lot of very good memories in the British Open. So um, yeah, you know, like winning two big tournaments after each other, this showed me that okay, I'm going, I'm doing good. I'm going on the right track and uh, and I wanted to just keep the same momentum or the same training or the same whatever I'm doing, keep going and try to just learn and improve what was what's wrong. And in, in the World Championship final, the British final, obviously you overcame your own going hard, it comes to the pyramids where she manages to get her revenge. <coughs> um, you know, the, the two of you have contested some really exciting matches uh, both this year and in the past. How much are you enjoying that rivalry with her? Yeah, it's, uh, it's good to have a different rivalry as another player. Like I, I had it with Roniem, I had it with, uh, with Noor actually and uh, yeah, so it's good to uh, to uh, to live it with another uh, player like Noran. Is, she's really playing good this season, and she showed that she uh, deserved to be in this spot. And she's been uh, uh, very tough on everyone. And uh, and it's uh, I'm I'm enjoying that I'm having this rivalry with her, and I'm sure we're gonna keep this for a long time, hopefully. But uh, yeah, she's good. She's really good. She's improving, and she's very consistent, very strong. And uh, I really enjoy playing with her. And I'm uh, I'm really happy we played like four or five, five finals this season. I think so. So uh, yeah, it's it's good that we 
we like respect this much and we have a lot of respect to each other and she's very good and uh, yeah i definitely enjoyed this uh, library with her